Ubisoft is in trouble. The stock price is at $2 a share at the time of writing, down from $20 a share from back in 2021. On investors' call, they admitted that their game, Star Wars Outlaws, sold softer than anticipated and earned only middling reviews. Their attempt to steal gamers away from Call of Duty with X Defiant has fallen flat, as their CEO said that it has fallen behind on expectations, and their game, Assassin's Creed Shadows, which was once considered a slam dunk of a concept, an Assassin's Creed game set in Japan, has been delayed until February 2025. Given all of this, it really feels as if Shadows is a make-or-break title for the company. As I said, a feudal Japan setting was like the North Star for this franchise at one point. So the fact that this game apparently isn't good enough to preview and they're going to delay it it really speaks to the fact that maybe this game just isn't going to be up to par. And I mean, let's take a step back and look at Ubisoft as a company. Love them or hate them, they did kind of dominate the 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4 era. I mean, games took a lot of inspiration from their style i mean look at horizon zero dawn that's a heavily ubisoft influenced game but a first party game for playstation even elements you know i the big thing that i think of the climbing towers to reveal part of the map that's in horizon zero dawn that's in even like games like you know tears of the kingdom this open world you know there's bandits or like little enclaves of enemies that you go to as side missions you know you see it in far cry you see it in you know all of these ubisoft titles and it influenced the game industry a lot it's almost unthinkable that ubisoft is in this position now so to go from the high of like twenty dollars a share down to two and to delay this game until February, at least, it speaks to there being a lot of problems for Ubisoft. And I know that their CEO said that they're not making games with any agenda in mind. I think that particularly might just be them being worried that maybe they put their eggs too far in one basket, but I don't think that's necessarily what really like is holding these games back. I think they found a groove. They found something that worked in the Assassin's Creed series, in the Far Cry series, you know, even in some ways in like Ghost Recon. They settled into like very familiar territory into the types of games they make, the story beats what's going to be on the map, all of that stuff. And it worked for a long time. It was a popular style of game. As I said, other studios took note and more or less copied that style. However, after a while, gamers just aren't into playing things that they've already played. So eventually they were just like, okay, well, I don't really need another Assassin's Creed And on top of that, I understand that games need to be worth the money that they're charging. However, something that I heard a lot with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, is these games are just too much. They're so big that even if you put, like, 30 40 hours into them you might not even complete the main story and at a certain point the content just becomes incredibly repetitive and i think stuff like that really hurt assassin's creed generally and then hurt ubisoft on a wider scale i also think that you know because they had like this reputation of being like, oh, you know, they're big games, but you know, there's a lot of filler content. When you saw Ubisoft, it's not so much a mark of quality, it's a mark of like, oh my god, am I gonna have to 
slog through another like 40 50 90 hour game i don't really want to do that especially if it's just like okay you know ceo also said like we can't make just okay games anymore we have to make great games and i do wonder if they're gonna pull back on that and kind of reconsider their seeming stance of bigger is better and try to make more quality experiences because I think right now that's what that's what gamers want. And then not to mention, you know, Star Wars Outlaws didn't sell that well. Again, not the greatest reviews, just like good reviews, not great. But I think also it's just like I don't really have a lot of disposable income right now. I think a lot of people are feeling, you know, a bit of a crunch in terms of their disposable income and they're looking at a game that is good but not great and thinking i need great i can't afford good maybe it's my hope that in 2025 things will improve people won't be getting laid off so much people have more disposable income and maybe they will look at assassin's creed and be like oh yeah i'll, I'll pick that up why not I've always wanted an Assassin's Creed set in feudal Japan. But as of right now, people are a lot less likely to spend their money. We saw this also with Concord. You know, an okay game. By all accounts, a good game. But not a great game. Not something that people wanted to spend their money on. Especially when it became clear that many people weren't spending their money on it. And then nobody really wanted to take the risk of spending their money on it. And having it go away so i think there are a lot of factors i know like there are people who are like oh it's too woke i don't i don't know if that turns off the majority of gamers sure there's a vocal group of gamers who hate wokeness they're exhausting but they do exist and if your game's too woke they might not buy it but I think it's more having to do with people not wanting to commit to what these Ubisoft games are if they're not going to be great, and then not having the discretionary income, the disposable income rather, to you know spend on these games. They're like perpetual 7, maybe an 8 out of 10 game. Right now, everyone just wants to spend money on like a nine or a ten so what do you think do you think ubisoft can rebound um i do hope so i mean they've made a lot of great games a lot of games i've liked and uh, i was looking forward to assassin's creed shadow shadows um i guess i still am looking forward to it and if it's going to be even more polished that's even better so yeah if you played star wars outlaws and, and you want to defend it or you want to say like yeah it wasn't that good Please let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm Brian Marr. I'm a fake nerd. But this has been some real news. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next one.